two dead, three survivors in jet crash on I-75 in Collier County. Collier County, blah. A jet crash near Interstate 75 in Collier County at mile marker 105 on Friday, also known as the Golden Gate Parkway exit. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, a Bombardier Challenger 600 jet crashed on I-75 near Naples at around 3.21 p.m. Five people were reportedly on board. As of 4.40, the Collier County Sheriff's Office, CCSO, has confirmed two known fatalities. Officials said three people survived the crash. It is unknown if they were injured. The aircraft was traveling down from Ohio, according to the Naples airport. Download the NBC2 app and enable alerts to get real-time updates on the story. NBC2's Dave Elias confirmed that the Naples airport tower was in contact with the plane before the crash. According to Naples air traffic controllers, the plane was owned by a charter company called Hope Jet Worldwide Jet Charter. Officials said anyone can book a flight and pilots will fly you on a private plane to your destination. The plane left Fort Lauderdale at 9.15 a.m. Friday morning and landed in Columbus, Ohio at 11.57 a.m. Naples air traffic controllers said the plane left Columbus at 1.02 p.m. Tracking of the flight stopped right before it crashed. Officials confirmed it was supposed to land in Naples and then head back to Fort Lauderdale at 3.30 p.m. The plane was approximately 250 feet in the air when it crashed. The plane did not run out of fuel. Air traffic controllers said the fire was from the fuel. The plane was cleared to make an emergency landing and was less than a minute away from landing on the runway when it crashed. In audio from the air traffic control, the pilot can be heard calling in an emergency. The pilot said they lost both engines and were two miles away from the Naples airport before saying they would not be able to make it. The jet reportedly lost an engine and was scheduled to leave Naples and head to Fort Lauderdale, the Naples airport said. Troopers advised drivers to avoid the area and seek an alternative route. The FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, are in charge of this investigation and will continue to provide updates.